course, Color 10 is your election headquarters. Polling places across the state are now open. Those in Springfield having the opportunity to make several decisions today, voting on mayoral races, city council races, along with a $220 million school bond issue. Color 10's Joshua Pineda live at St. Elizabeth and Seton. Josh, the door is just open there. How are things looking right now? Well, Jesse, a few folks have come in this morning, but polls are officially open across the entire state of Missouri. I've checked in with Greene County Clerk Shane Scholler, who tells me that all 79 polling locations in Greene County are ready to go for voters. Yeah, we have over the past two to three weeks here, we've been testing and certifying the election equipment with bipartisan teams. And then um, over the past couple of weeks, we've had our election judges coming in, getting the hands-on training, as well as just the training of what they need to do as they greet voters throughout the day of the election. And as far as changes to polling locations go, there are a couple of things to note here. Fellowship Bible Church in Rogersville will not be open as a polling location today. Voters who vote at Golden Avenue Baptist will now go to Studi Schools and vote there. And Walnut Grove voters will be voting at the City Hall Community Room instead of the Walnut Grove School due to construction. And you can find this information on our website at OzarksFirst.com. Although nothing has changed for voters who cast a ballot at the MSU Meyer Alumni Center, which is a general polling location due to construction around the area, Scholler says that voters will have to take a different route to access the building. And we will let them know that they can still access it. They'll just need to come in on McDaniel Street headed west, and then they can park in the parking garage like they normally do. As far as what you need to bring to the polls, all you need is an acceptable form of ID, whether that be a driver's or non-driver's license, a military ID or veteran's ID, a U.S. passport, or just a, or just a photo ID issued by the state of Missouri or the U.S. Now, polls are officially open, and they will close at 7 p.m. tonight. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Joshua Pineda, Ozarks First. All right, Josh, thanks for the check-in there. At a polling location this morning, things already starting to pick up in Nixa. Here's one of the races Josh just mentioned. They're deciding on a $47 million bond issue for the Nixa Public School District. The money will go toward creating additional facilities as well as storm shelters at some schools there in Nixa. The district would also purchase additional school buses. If approved, the tax levy would not change from its current rate. And in Ash Grove, a $9.4 million bond issue is on the ballot. The bond would be funding school improvements. That includes a new gym that will also serve as a safe room during severe weather. Important on days like this, the bond measure asks voters for a 30 cent increase for every $100 of assessed valuation. And we've talked a lot about this one, especially here on Daybreak as we get you ready for your day every day. Voters will decide on Proposition S here in Springfield, a $220 million bond issue for SPS. The funds will go directly toward Facility improvements across the district, if this is approved, it would include security upgrades and the construction of two brand new middle schools. And no tax rate increase would come along with that if it's approved. Another big one we're watching, Springfield voters also deciding the mayoral race. Incumbent Ken McClure looking for one more term as he goes up against Melody Bach, who is currently the president of the Galloway Village Neighborhood Association. McClure has been in that position since 2017. We'll be keeping you updated all day long right here on Color 10 over on Fox 49 at 6.30 and 9 tonight as well. And as always on OzarksFirst.com, especially as those numbers start to pour in from polling locations.